We're about seven hours in and um, on the first day, pretty much non stop for seven hours. And we have, if you can just see, if you see the rock mountain hill to the right of the picture, then there's a little gorge in between it. Now we've come, our camp's on the other side of that, probably about three kilometers, and then another three kilometers here. So we've done about that today. Nowhere near enough, uh, but I think that's gonna be the hardest thing. It is shattering, I've gotta be honest with you. Heat killer. Um, every time you stop to go to the toilet, and uh, someone like there, there's a million or one snakes you've been briefed at. Um, at the moment, we're sort of split into two groups. First group, advance party going over there. Uh, Craig is with Peter, and um, I think Scott's back there as well. It's been really, really lovely being Peter's buddy for several reasons. Um, it's great just to get the insight of what a blind person, especially with you know, this trip being about the blind and raising awareness for sight savers and, and so forth. It's great to see someone's input into, or, or take rather, as to what it's like being blind and climbing a huge hill and, and experiencing this. And secondly, it's just lovely to get to know the man. I mean, he, look at that. I don't know if that does it justice, but that is an extraordinary um, feat for a guy who can't see. Coming down, it's just all rocks and boulders all the way, all the way down like that, in a sort of like, you know, slalom way. Um, it's an extraordinary man. And we had good chats about football and cricket, amongst other things. Oh man, okay. Lots to do, so see you later. Well, here we are.